development of scientific perspective in Europe and historiography. Till the 18th century CE, Europe had achieved a remarkable progress in the fields of philosophy and science. Scholars by then had come to believe in the possibility of studying the social and historical truths by applying scientific methods. Now, the philosophical discussions focused more and more on the objectivity in history and historiography. Prior to the 18th century, all European universities were interested only in the philosophical discourses revolving around divine phenomena. However, gradually the scenario began to change. In 1737 CE, the Göttingen University was founded in Germany. This university, for the first time, had an independent department of history. Later, other German universities also became centers of historical studies. Notable Scholars The contributions of many scholars are important in the development of historiography. Let us have a look at the contributions of the few notable scholars. René Descartes, 1596-1650 René Descartes was the foremost among scholars who insisted on verifying the reliability of historical documents by critically examining them. Among the rules given by him in his book, Discourse on the Method, the following is supposed to have a great impact on the scientific method of research. Never to accept anything for true till all grounds of doubt are excluded. Voltaire, 1694-1778 Voltaire's original name was Francis Marie Arouet. He was French. He opined that along with objective truth and chronology of historical events, considering social traditions, trade, economy, agriculture, etc., was also equally important in historiography. Opined means to express an opinion. It gave rise to the thought that understanding all aspects of human life is important for history writing. Thus, it is said that Voltaire was the founder of modern historiography. George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel 1770-1831 Hegel was a German philosopher. He insisted that the historical reality should be presented in a logical manner. To him, the timeline of historical events was indicative of progress. He also thought that the presentation of history is bound to change over time as new evidence would come forth. With Hegel's philosophy, many scholars were convinced that historical methods were not of lesser quality, though they differed from scientific methods. The collection of his lectures and articles is published in a book entitled Encyclopedia of Philosophical Sciences. His book, Reason in History, is well known. Leopold von Ranke 1795-1886 Historiography of the 19th century was greatly influenced by the thoughts of Leopold von Ranke of Berlin University. He spoke about the critical method of historical research. He put emphasis on the utmost importance of information gathered through original documents. He also stated that all types of documents associated with a historical event need to be examined with greater care. He believed that with this method, it was possible to reach the historical truth. He criticized imaginative narration of history. Collection of his articles is published in two books entitled 
the theory and practice of history and the secret of world history. Karl Marx, 1818-1883 In the latter half of the 19th century, a new school of thought arose, keeping in view the new thesis formulated by Karl Marx. According to Karl Marx, history was not about abstract ideas, it was about living people. Human relationships are shaped by the fundamental needs of people and the ownership as well as nature of prevalent means of production to meet those needs. The accessibility of these means to different strata of the society may not be equal. This inequality causes a division of the society into classes, leading to class struggle. According to Marx, human history is the history of class struggle, as the class that owns the means of production economically exploits the rest of the classes. Thus, Kapital, a treatise written by him, is the most referred book all over the world. It is good to know this. According to Hegel, grasping the meaning of any event happens in terms of two direct opposites. Human mind cannot understand the true nature of that event without understanding the opposites. For example, true, false, good, bad, etc. In order to understand the true nature of a thing, one needs to know both true and false, similarly good and bad. This method of analysis, which is based on opposites, is known as dialectics. In this method, a theory is proposed at the beginning, which is called thesis. Then, another theory is proposed, which is contrary to the thesis. It is called antithesis. After a thorough logical discussion of both, a new thesis is proposed which includes the gist of both, the thesis and the antithesis. This process of arriving at the new thesis is called synthesis. Anel School At the onset of the 20th century, a new school of historiography arose in France which is known as Anel School. Anel School gave a new direction to history writing. It was recognized now that history is not only about the political events, kings, great leaders, and accordingly politics, diplomacy, and wars, but also about the climate, local people, agriculture, trade, technology, means of communication, social divisions, and their collective psychology, etc., in the historical times. The Annel School was started by French historians. Feminist Historiographies Feminist historiographies means the restructuring of the history from the perspective of women. The writings of Simone de Beauvoir helped in establishing the fundamentals of feminism. She was French. The feminist historiographies emphasized not only on the inclusion of women in history, but also on the rethinking of the male-dominated perspective of history. It drove historical research to focus in depth on various aspects of women's life, such as their employment, their role in trade union, institutions working for their cause, their family life, etc. In the historical writings after 1990, women were portrayed as an independent social class. 